Hey Capricorn, welcome to July. We are going to look at the main theme for the month, where to focus your energy, what are your challenges this month, what is it you need to release, which is important with the challenges just because we're about to enter a Mercury retrograde. Um, and then the Facebook people, the people on the Facebook page had all commented that the majority of them wanted to focus on career and money, so we're going to look at that. And then your love life, of course, whether you're single, coupled, or in an undefined relationship, meaning you could be polyamorous, on-again, off-again relationship, maybe your relationship isn't Facebook official, something like that, okay? So let's get started. Capricorn in July, your main theme is confidence. You should feel confident and excited. Um... And they're saying, you know, in areas where you're not, you might be lying to yourself about um, how other people perceive you. You know, if you're telling yourself that you're socially awkward, you're actually not socially awkward. Um, you're coming across in a very favorable light. And so you should try to embrace that a little bit more. Where to focus your energy um, on how you truly feel. Really focus in on what it is that you're feeling in a very open and honest way this month. What are the challenges? They're saying you might be feeling kind of sad, okay? Your emotions might feel out of balance. And so to focus in on how you're truly feeling might be a little bit scary or uncomfortable. But the benefit here is we are maybe experiencing sadness or emotional turmoil as a side effect or an after effect of something deeper that is maybe not so hard to solve, right? So, um, when we feel angry, for example, it's typically not um, anger itself that we're feeling. It's a, Anger is a reaction to sadness we feel about something else. So if I'm angry that somebody stole my money, for example, I am sad that I no longer have my money and that I was betrayed. And so those are two separate emotions that I should deal with, and anger is a secondary effect of that, right? It's a reaction to the feelings that I'm having that I'm not necessarily processing. Um, what is it that you guys need to release this month? And um, this is this one I want to get clarity on here. Um, what you want to release this month is interesting. It's uh, about what you're not investing in, okay? So... For Capricorns, it's like you might be not investing in certain relationships because you're afraid they're not going to work out well, and then you take the defense here. So if you're a single Capricorn, for example, you might not be trying really hard to create new relationships. Um, and then you're like, well, because they never work out. But then you get upset that you're not coupled yet. And you're like, well, because everybody that I talk to, they're like this, 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 this. They're, you know, eh. um, and so I'm not saying that you're, you know, a defensive person who doesn't really understand or know themselves, but we all have areas in which we have blind spots. And that's sort of something that's going on here. It's like, Maybe things are not working out the way you want to because you're not investing enough of your time or energy in it. Perhaps you were hoping to get a promotion at work, um, but because you're afraid of the competition, you don't really give it your all, and so then you have a reason later when you don't get it to kind of like blame other people or um, you know say, well, so-and-so is a kiss-ass, but you didn't necessarily invest so much of yourself or your time or your energy because you were afraid it wasn't going to work out, and it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, essentially, is what they're saying. Um, they say it's the, dis it's the disappointment that you expect that is inhibiting you from receiving really good things, like on a law of attraction type of level. It's like, I kind of expect to be disappointed, and so that's what I get, is disappointment. Um, so that's something to release, to let go of, to work on, if you can figure out where that's at in your life and how this is going to play out. Now, for those of you who are wondering about your money and career this month, they say this is not really like the most amazing month for money or career. Um, they're saying it's this is an area where you're going to get out of um, your efforts, what you put into it. And so on an energetic level, like, Let's say you go to a coffee shop and you tip $2 instead of $1 for your mocha, okay? Now, because with love, I gave a larger tip than usual, I might expect then that I would be lucky this month, that I might find a $20 bill on the ground, things like that. Um, 
If you work really, really hard at work, you might be recognized for that. Perhaps you win some sort of award, maybe you're employee of the month. It's that sort of thing. So if you're not really fully applying yourself, then you're not really fully going to enjoy the benefits. They say this is a month where you're not going to feel necessarily strong in regards to career or um, money type of issues. Um, so just do your best and then hope for the best. And then, you know, hopefully, when we talked about that releasing, um, that self-fulfilling pro prophecy of disappointment, you'll, I guess, kind of avoid that. But they're saying, you know, for, for those of you who can do that, this will be a balanced month. You'll come out of it unscathed. But for the rest of you who have a lot of trouble with that or you don't really apply yourself, you're not going to feel like this was your best month ever for money or career. Um, for those of you who are single Capricorns, they say big positive changes could be coming for you this month as long as you're confident and you're very well aware of how you're feeling and what it is that you desire. For those of you who are coupled Capricorns, um, figuring out what is like truly making your heart glow and shine and then communicating that to your partner is going to really help them to put you first, to put you on a pedestal. I wouldn't be surprised. I think Pisces, it might have been, also has this kind of energy. Or no, it wasn't Pisces, it was Scorpio. So if you have a lot of Scorpio in your chart as well, um, especially this, your partner will be very inclined to be like, hey, let me give you a back rub. Let me give you a foot rub. Let me go and fill your car up with gas. You know, I'm going to make you dinner. Like kind of this pampering energy this month where they really fully appreciate you. They might be extra... Um, for Capricorn specifically, extra giving or loving in the bedroom. And so um, fully embrace that. You know, say, hey, thank you. I really appreciate it. And it doesn't mean that you have to give them anything in return. Just kind of sit there and bask in it is the energy for the month. They're like, this is not a time where you have to go out of your way to return the favors. Just like um, allow it and say thank you and kind of bask in that energy. Um, now... For those of you who are in an undefined relationship, whether you are in a polyamorous relationship, it's not defined, it's on again, off again, um, they're saying for you, this is a little bit different. This is that you get out of it what you put into it. They're saying um, you can expect some sort of stability this month, even if you're feeling unstable, like even if it's on again, off again, wh whichever you're at, if it's off, or if it's on, it should kind of remain that way for the month. But like I said, you're going to get out of it what you put into it. Um, yeah, that's basically the theme. Whatever you put into this situation is what you should expect in return. However, you might not receive the benefits of whatever you're putting into it for two to three weeks from now. So um, coming up on like that first week of August, okay? Um, I look forward to talking to you in August. Bye. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video, uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!